In this segment, we're going to be talking about using a T to the gate to help you get your livestock out the gate. Some people have problems with this, and we're going to show you some film that will demonstrate how using a T to the gate, whether it's one person, two people, whether you're on horses or uh, four-wheelers, it works all the same. And we'll show some film to demonstrate how this is done. So here we're looking at driving the cattle down to the gate and many times people cause their own problems by anticipating what the cattle uh, are going to do because they have had past experiences that were bad or they dream up things that they think will be bad. And so we have to be very careful about anticipating anything that's going to happen at a gate or a crossing in that we, in our own subconscious mind, I believe, uh, we create that problem by thinking of it before we get there. So we can't dwell on the past uh, or the future. We only have the present to work with. And with that, we can use the T to the gate. As you see there, I walk through the cattle to open the gate. Cattle are easily, uh, they don't care whether you walk through them. You can walk straight down the fence because we always want to walk in straight lines. And once I remove that gate, then I can simply turn around. We've already got a lead cow started through. Pressure in, back up. And now that movement has started and I'll just get out of the way. And we'll let Tina bring up the pressure from the rear and bring these animals through the gate. One really important thing to remember, and it's a really difficult one, is that the animals are never wrong. Whatever you get is what you created, and you have to accept responsibility for that. That goes right along with the T to the gate we was talking about, and, and we create what we anticipate. And this next clip is going to show some more of that using the T to the gate. And right here, my son and I are just using that same straight line T to the gate to start the herd moving and to gather them. And if you'll notice how he is working out on the outside toward the edge or toward the corner of the herd, he can keep those animals on the corner tucked in. But we're both moving back and forth nicely. And this, what this does is it spreads the pressure and we're not pressuring from directly behind the animal. We are actually, by working back and forth motion, we are pressuring in the sides of animals, but not in the behinds of animals. So that's one thing that if you want a good result with working with livestock is to stay out from behind or to not pressure from behind and that way you're pressuring into the sides of the animals. They can see you out of their eyes and they know where you are and they'll go straight ahead for you. Again, I have to mention, uh, and I, as I will in each segment, that it is imperative that we learn to read the animals and respond and react to what they're telling us if we want a positive result from dealing with animals. So. Uh, I can't overstress the importance of reading the animals and reacting in a positive way to that and allowing that to uh, direct your movement so that you get a positive response. Here again you can see I'm walking right through the middle of the herd, walk up and open the gate because we many times leave the gate closed and don't worry about whether the gate is closed or open. Uh, we can either walk up the side along the fence, always walking, remembering to walk in straight lines, and that way we are not curving around the animals because curving represents a predator, and we don't want to be seen as that. Here you can see I'm out wide in the front, and I'm just guiding those front animals so that they're going to go in the direction that we want them to head for the next gate and my son is just pressuring from behind and bringing them along and I'm out on the side guiding and we've got good movement going there and going in the direction that we want them to go. 
In this clip, Richard is going to demonstrate the T to the gate, one person. Uh, he's going to drive 80 bulls out of a, out of a pasture. Uh, he's going to use a couple of different things, getting the outside row going, but still going back and forth and using that T to the gate. So in conclusion with this segment, remember to always use the T to the gate, whether it's by yourself or with multiples, because this is an effective method to put animals through the gate and at the same time to not anticipate because what we anticipate we will create.